Hey there, today I'm so excited to be working with the Dollar Tree embossed tiles and this wooden acorn I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm Summer with HammondsNest.com and I hope that you enjoy this simple idea that I have seen all over Pinterest and every other creative platform out there and I've seen some really beautiful versions so I'm excited to give it my own little twist. So what I did first was I just traced like you saw the wooden acorn to get the perfect little piece of embossed tile for the bottom of my acorn. I did choose to put my glue gun on low heat because the tiles, if you've never worked with them, they are a, a thin plastic. And so I just didn't want to risk any melting of the tile. It may be fine with high heat, but you know, every temperature of glue is different. So once we get that hot glued on there on that piece there, I made sure the edges were down and everything else. I'm just gonna start giving it a really cool and unique paint finish, which is gonna have some different layers to it. And then we'll embellish lastly. So I'm doing the Mod Podge cinnamon rust thing. So that means I just brush some Mod Podge there on the top of the acorn. And then while it's still wet, I'm just sprinkling some cinnamon all over and just kind of going back and forth, catching most of it. You know, you can see this little this pretty easy technique here. And once that's on there, I'm going to go ahead and seal that. Now, at the end towards the video, I'm going to come back to that because I'm going to do a, another layer in a couple spots that didn't get as rich of a rusty vibe that I wanted. So, but we'll go ahead and do that and we'll move on to adding in a little bit of variation of another brown, which is just like a, an umber color by Folk Art. And I'm just going to add in a couple little dabs here and there and then kind of smooth it around. And that just gives me some, like I said, some variation in the rusty color. And I'm trying to be kind of sporadic about it and not overthink it, but I kind of wanted it, you know, spread out as well. So just taking my brush and doing that, that still needs to dry and it'll start looking a little different in a minute. Next on to the tile part, I'm gonna work with the chalk paint color plaster by Waverly. This is a chalk paint that is sold at Walmart, but if you don't have this exact kind of chalk paint, of course, you can use any color you wanted. Um, the light's a little glary here, so I'm going to change that. Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was so glary until I was going back and, and looking at the clips. But once I get that all on there, while it's still wet, I'm going to take some cinnamon on top of the wet paint and just dab in a few random sporadic places as well, creating not only texture, of course, but creating that kind of a rusty, old metal tin vibe that we have going on. I'll continue to layer with different colors and even adding in some heavier rust spots here in a little while. You'll just kind of see that process unfold as you're watching the video. But I like, you know, just kind of splashing a little paint here and there, going for the look I want. And that's really always a process because you never know exactly how it's all going to turn out. Now I am layering on in just a couple little spots the color moss by Waverly. And I just really wanted to work in some green for my overall look. Now it's time to go back over those few spots that I didn't really love the way they ended up taking with the Mod Podge rusty cinnamon thing. So I'm adding on some more in the spots that didn't take. I'm also putting a coat of Mod Podge over the plastic tin tile and I'm going to layer again some more rusty cinnamon spots over those parts. And like I said, it's just one of those things. If you like this look, um, that's great. It usually does require some layering to get that vintage kind of chippy paint, old world kind of feel. But you could also just do this whole concept very simple with a simple paint job, one color, and whatever you like to embellish with. But see how different it looks now that it's had some time to dry, all that Mod Podge is dried. It looks beautiful. Now I'm just going to start embellishing. I wasn't sure when I first started whether I was going to cover the top of the acorn. That's why I gave it that rusty cinnamon look but I decided to go ahead and cover it with the jute. I like it that much better because I wanted some extra texture. Y'all know I love my texture and little things like jute and burlap and ripped fabric and all that stuff do add a lot of textural interest. Now I'm taking some hot glue and I'm using a little bit of just ribbon trim that I had that was the same color and I'm going across where the tile and the top of the acorn meet using my finger protectors that y'all always talk about that y'all like so much. Y'all ask about them all the time. I get them from Dollar Tree in a three pack, but you can get them from a lot of different craft stores and online. Now I'm just taking some floral pieces that I had and I'm hot gluing and now I'm making a little shabby bow that's with ripped fabric, that uh, Osnaberg cotton that I've mentioned that's my favorite fabric at Walmart that I use. It's just a pretty off-white with little brown specks and it. it's perfect for this. Now in the end shot, you're going to see that I did some things different with the bow and I added another piece of floral. I'll explain that later. But in the center of that bow, I decided to put a piece, the top of an acorn, an actual acorn that I had on hand. I thought it was perfect. So now I'm just taking my black ink pad, adding a little bit of more color, visual interest, texture with 
with that. And I think that that'll be done. Now, one of the things I did on the bow, you can see how it's loopy at the top. You'll see at the end when I show you that I actually went in with my scissors and I cut all those loops. I just wanted a more rustic looking bow. And then I also decided to add another piece of that orange fern floral. And I think it's perfectly balanced now. I love the way it turned out. To recap, I got the acorn and the tile at Dollar Tree, but I know you can also find those tiles at Family Dollar. I can't wait to see your versions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.